Good evening, this is Pastor Lisa, and welcome to Jam Time tonight. Um, we're starting a special um, couple weeks of Jam Time that we're going to focus on a, a camp theme, and it's called God is in Our Midst. And tonight, we're going to look at we experience God in a gathered community, and that's where we are. We're all over, but yet we're still gathered together in community through social media. And God can gather us in many ways, we're finding out at this time. So we're going to start with a couple games because usually um, in a community when we gather, we take time to get to know each other and to do some maybe fun things together and that's how we begin to interact with each other. So we're going we're gonna to play the leaning game. So I'm going to ask you if you're more like, and you're going to lean one way if it's one thing or lean one the other way to the right if it's something else. So we're going to practice leaning back and forth. Just kind of loosen up and there you go. Get, get your lean on here. Okay, so the first one is, are you more like a quiet lake or a rushing stream? Uh, sometimes I'm a quiet lake and... Uh, sometimes I feel like a rushing street, rush, rushing stream. Are you more like a sunrise or a sunset? A sunrise is to your left or sunsets to your right. I think I'm more like a sunrise than a sunset. Are you more like a race car or a truck? I think I'm going to lean to the left again. I think I'm more like a race car than a truck. Are you more like water or Coke? I think maybe I feel a little more like Coke, but I think I should be a little more like water. Are you more like a flower or a tree? I think I'm more of a tree, maybe more rooted. Um, are you more like a dog or a cat? I think I'm more like a dog. Are you more like a candy bar or fruit? That's a tough one for me, but I'll go. I think I'm more like fruit. Are you more like a skating rink or a soccer field? I feel like you slip slide around more or maybe are graceful or more like a rough and tumble field. I think I'm more like a soccer field. So, hopefully, um, maybe with your parents or others there, you can learn even a little more about people you think you already know. And we can share with one another. Another activity we're going to like to share tonight is uh, making a coat of arms. It's like a shield. And um, time, there are times where families would have a coat of arms or a shield, and they would put it somewhere, maybe on their door or somewhere in their house, prominent that would speak of their family. And so I invite you, you to get out a, a piece of paper, or you can do this afterwards, um, and make a draw, some sort of a shield, and make four, four spots. And, and um, it's a way of sharing with others, and maybe you could even share it with me sometime, um, what your shield looks like. But the first square, it's going to put in your family. And so I put me and my husband, and then I put our families all around us. So that's my family. On this side, things you like to do. So I like to sing. I like music. I like to fish. I like to watch the sunrise, and I like to enjoy sunny days. I like the, to watch the pirates and play baseball or softball, play soccer, and I like to play in my Nintendo and video games, and I like to smile and laugh and have fun. So this is things you like to do. And down in this corner is a symbol of your faith. And I did a cross for Jesus and a heart because of God's love. And then I kind of did this, just a little orange blob with a smiley, meaning that my faith is, is changing in different shapes and different ways um, throughout my life and will continue to do that. And I hope your faith is growing too in Jesus. And this down here are things that are maybe some of your favorite things. 
I like the color orange. That's my favorite color. And I put a hand because I, I like hugs. They're some of my favorite things and people in, in my family. And these are supposed to be Hershey Kisses because I like chocolate. And I even put a roller coaster. So that's one of my, I, when I go to amusement parks, that's one of my favorite things. So you can do your own coat of arms or your own shield to kind of share with others about yourself. It helps us then to get to, to even to think about um, things um, for ourselves that we don't often think about. Well, our scripture tonight is found in Matthew 18, 20. And it's for where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there with them. So if you can do it with me. Reminds us that where, that Jesus is with us. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there with them. And I would even go so far as to say, even if there's just one, God is with us. Jesus is with us when we're all alone, too. But sometimes we say, well, there's not many people here, but where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there with them. Jesus is with us and with us in our communities. So my Lego creation is this is my campfire, and it may not look quite like a campfire, but it's the best I could do. And these are, because um, many of the campfires I've sat around, they've had logs that you could sit on or wooden benches that you could sit on. And if you notice here with all the people, there's a one empty. We could say, well, that's empty for you or me to gather in, but it's empty because sometimes people leave an empty chair at a table or an empty chair with the, around them to remind them that Jesus is there with them. So you may want to think about that sometime when you're sitting around a table with your family um, or with friends that you leave an empty space for Jesus to remind us that, that Jesus is with us. So our key word for tonight, and um, you want to remember that key word, is community. Because we are gathered in a community of God's people to share our faith with one another, to grow in our faith with one another, and to share God's love with one another, to grow in our community of faith. So let's say our Bible verse one more time. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there with them. Jesus is here with us. Let us pray, if you'll repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for being with me, for gathering with my faith community. Help me to grow in my faith and to remember your love for me. Amen. Thank you all for sharing with me tonight, and I look forward to sharing again with you next week.